Hello design lovers, I'm Ashley Childers and today we're getting ready to host a summer 4th of July party. I'm going to be sharing all of my tips on how to create a beautiful timeless tablescape, also how to decorate in a gorgeous and classic way. I will share how to create beautiful easy floral arrangements and also my very favorite 4th of July summer cocktail. I know you are going to love today's video, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can get more weekly design goodness as we drop a new design video every Saturday. So very first in today's video, I want to talk about setting a beautiful classic tablescape for your 4th of July party. I'm going to walk you through each element that I used and then we'll talk about how to create really pretty and easy floral arrangements for your table. So the very first thing we're going to do when we set our 4th of July tablescape is start with a classic runner. And I opted for a really beautiful nubby linen one that is a beautiful blue. It is a little lighter than navy and I kind of love the classic color of it because I feel like it's a color that you can use throughout the entire summer, not just on 4th of July. I always like to pick up things that are not quite so thematic when I'm choosing my decor items to decorate with, especially for tablescapes, because I want to have pieces that I can use for, for multiple occasions. And so that's why I just went with this really beautiful fringe detail blue runner. The next thing that we are going to place onto the table is our seagrass placemats. And I love these as well. We use these all the time, especially for summer entertaining. They just have a really beautiful natural color and I love the texture that it adds to the table. So of course, we're just gonna put those down to create the second layer of our tablescape. Now it's time for plates and I'm going to use these taupey, creamy, melamine plates that I used in our summer entertaining video because I love the color. It actually ties in really well to our dining chairs out here. And I love the matte melamine because they are obviously great for outdoor entertaining and they don't show any like nicks um, and wear and tear from steak knives or that kind of thing. So when I'm choosing melamine, I always opt for a really pretty matte style. Up next is our cutlery and I'm keeping it simple for this tablescape. I'm just adding a knife and a fork. Of course, if you're doing steaks or something like that, you would want to add a steak knife. And then if you had something like a salad, maybe a salad fork, or you could even do a fun summer gazpacho and you would of course need to add a spoon, but this is just a little easy table setup for today. And we're just gonna do our fork and knife. The next layer on our tablescape is our linens and I am adding these really pretty and classic white and navy striped linen napkins. I like to just place them on top of the plates for an easy arrangement. And these of course are a great option for summer entertaining, not just 4th of July. The last layer we are adding to our tablescape before we go to our floral arrangements are our cups and this beautiful pitcher. So I want to use these gorgeous opalescent cups from my collection. These are the Hamish cups and I love the low tumbler style and kind of the little swoop quality that they have and the color of the little opal dots on these glasses matches the plates that we have. So I love using these throughout the summer. They're my go-to glassware for the season for sure. And we're going to put one at each setting. And then of course we will add in our pitcher in the center. Mm -hmm. 
now let's create some fun floral arrangements for our 4th of July tablescape. So I actually grabbed all of these flowers from my local market, but you could use flowers that you clip from your garden. That would be my choice, but uh, we don't have any white flowers in the garden right now. My limelights are about to bloom. So of course I will be using those throughout the rest of the summer. But for 4th of July, I wanted to do something very simple and white. So we've got some little daisy looking flowers, these little button flowers, and then these crazy kind of, I don't, I don't know what these are called, but I love the shape of them. And they just had these at the supermarket as well. So I've got four different vessels in that blue color that we are using on our tablescape. And I love using vintage vessels down the center of a table. I think it adds a lot of character um, and charm. So what I'm going to do is just take these flowers in little groupings and place them in our vessels. And I like to just make it look very effortless, honestly. It's summer entertaining and it's outdoor entertaining. So we want it to be easy and effortless and of course, classic. So there you have it. You see we've got our four fun floral arrangements down the center of the table and I added this little pedestal of strawberries for a little pop of red and as you can see we created a beautiful timeless 4th of July tablescape for our party. Now it's time to make my very favorite summer cocktail so let's head over to the outdoor kitchen. over here at the bar and it is time to make our summer watermelon basil breeze cocktail. So we're going to start with watermelon juice. And what I did to create this watermelon juice was just blend up some watermelon cubes. And then what you're going to want to do is make sure that you strain the juice so that you get all of that pulp out. It just makes a prettier cocktail if you do that. And then you're going to want to have vodka, or gin or rum on hand. You can use any of those three to make this fun summer cocktail. And then we've got 10 basil leaves and a couple of limes. So the very first thing that we're going to want to do is muddle our basil leaves. And I just clipped these from the garden. That is one of the amazing things about summertime in Arkansas is that we have all of these wonderful herbs in our garden. So just muddle those so that we release all of the oils from the basil leaves. I love basil. It is one of my favorite herbs. Then we're going to take our shaker. So I've got, this makes two servings. You could always increase this and make an entire pitcher um, just by doubling or tripling this recipe. But I have 10 ounces of watermelon juice. So we're going to add that to our shaker. Now we're going to add a couple of fresh limes. So I just like to have those on hand and add the juice directly into our cocktail shaker. It's super easy, makes for quick cleanup. The next step is to add our muddled basil leaves to the cocktail shaker. So we're gonna throw those in there. And last but not least, our alcohol. So I am going for vodka today, but like I said, you could do rum or gin. Take your pick. Just do four ounces for the 10 ounces of watermelon juice. So we're gonna add our vodka. Now I've added a little bit of ice to our shaker after our vodka and of course, it's time to shake up our drink. Now it is time to serve up our watermelon basil breeze. So I've added some ice into these pretty little cups and we're just going to pour our drinks in. Now, if you try this cocktail and you feel like you want it a little bit sweeter, you can always add just a teaspoon of agave 
that'll sweeten it up, but I prefer the sweetness of the watermelon. Let's garnish with some basils and then we're ready to serve. Now that we have our cocktail in hand, the last thing I want to talk to you about is classic timeless decor for the 4th of July. So not just our tablescape, but decorating our outdoor spaces and our homes for the festive holiday. Now that we have moved out to the outside of the porch, I want to talk about adding flag buntings to your home. So I feel like there is nothing more Americana than flag buntings. And I knew the moment that we added this patio extension on our home that I wanted to decorate with buntings for the 4th of July. So we took two per opening in our porch. So we have a total of 12 around the entire perimeter of the porch. And I think they add the most beautiful festive flair to our outdoor entertaining space. Now, who's ready to get festive with your 4th of July decor? I know I'm so excited to host family and friends this year and hope that today's video inspires you to create a beautiful tablescape and decorate your home in a gorgeous, classic way for this year's festivities. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which decor tip was your favorite and what you're most excited to incorporate into your 4th of July decor at your home. If you love all things design, follow us over on Instagram to see a little sneak peek into my daily design adventures. And if you want even more design goodness right now, you're going to want to watch this playlist next. As always, I'm Ashley Childers. Thank you for watching and remember, good design is for everyone. So create a home that inspires you, have fun decorating for the 4th of July, and fall in love with where you live one room at a time.